Um, personally, not too bad. Um, managed to play a number of games. Got injured towards the end of the season, but obviously the year before, I was out for a long time with my knee. So obviously, just to get back playing, I earned a new contract last summer, um, which I was pleased about. Obviously, wanting to stay and do well for the team and the club. Um, yeah, but uh, unfortunately, we just missed out in the playoffs. So um, that's a bit disappointing. To end um, on a personal note and as a team. It's still early days, signed quite a few players, um, especially the last two weeks, we've got a few bodies to come in. Um, so obviously it's getting to know one another, training every day, and obviously the game's coming up now thick and fast, so obviously get to know each other's game. So it is exciting to be fair. We lost one or two, but obviously game four or five, so um, that should be exciting times. Well, like I said, we lost one or two, but we've gained four or five players. So hopefully they can step up this year. And as obviously boys that are still here, myself, we all need to step up and um, perform a little bit better. Um, obviously, we missed out the last few years, really, um, out on the playoff spot. So this year, obviously, minimum is playoffs um, and see where we go from there, really. Personally, stay fit, play as many games as I can, hopefully help the boys, help the boys around me. Um, I'm the experienced one on the team now, so obviously if I can bring a little bit of that to the group, I've had a few promotions, so a bit lucky on that front. So um, yeah, it's just obviously use a bit of experience to help all the young lads, because we still are a fairly young team. Um, and yeah, and as a group, obviously, got to do one better. We want promotion, but obviously minimum is playoffs, because obviously we've just missed out the last few years now. Um, I just think to lead, um, he gave me the captaincy when I first joined and um, lead by example, give um, any experience I can, any knowledge I've got of the game over the last 10, 12 years, um, especially to the young lads. Um, personally, we work with the young boys coming through on a Friday or whatever day of the week. We do a bit of editing or whatever we need to do with defenders. So, um, no, I like to think I breed a little bit of experience um, to the dressing room. Um, Being yeah, as a group, obviously, like, like us, he wants to be successful. So promotion, playoffs as a minimum, um, do one better than we've done the last few years, really. Um, to be fair, I think they've both gone on uh, to really good clubs. I think Smods, has, over the last few years, has scored a lot of goals, done really well for the club in general, come up through the youth system. So um, he well deserved, got his move to Bristol City, and I, I think he'll do really well there, to be honest. And Frankie, having played with Frankie, um, can't speak highly enough of him. Um, again, got a very good move to Peterborough and I think that'll be a stepping stone for him because I, I have no doubt he can go and play a lot higher. Um, but as a group, nothing really changed. People come and go all the time, so we've signed six good players. And um, listen, big big shoes to fill, so to speak, maybe. But um, listen, I think we've got some good bodies that have come in. So um, no, I'm sure they'll kick on this year with the squad we've got already and um, hopefully add a few goals, a few more points on the board and we'll be successful. I don't know really. Um, Gans has come in. Gans is a good, very good player. Giovanni come in from Cambridge. He's got a um, great reputation at this league. Paris has obviously played higher, done really well. Um, so like, we've got some really good players coming. Omar's come in, six foot seven, massive presence. Um, so he'll give us some good options at the back and competition for places as well. So no, um, at the moment it's looking healthy. We've got a very good squad. Um, Gaffer will probably have a few headaches, I'd imagine, on match days. But um, that's what you want, um, a few headaches, especially at the top end of the pitch. We probably didn't have that last year. So no, team selection is going to be um, tricky from this year, I suppose. It's changed a lot, it's probably from the last 10 years. You used to be able to have eight weeks off and pre-season was for getting fit, really. But um, no, now you normally get, um, every year you'll get a schedule off your um, sports science. Um, and then, yeah, I think you have two weeks off and then you sort of tick over for like the last three or four weeks. But um, yeah, I think as you get older, you know your body, you know how fit you need to be when you go back. So it's got a little bit less every year that I've got older. But um, no, to be fair, my fitness is not normally something I worry about as such. So I'm um, normally pretty fit. Um, so now, yeah, this year, done all right at the running. So yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah, listen, we know it's going to be a tough game. They've done some um, good business over the summer. They've signed a few bodies. So, um, like ourselves, not a fairly new team, but obviously a few new bodies coming in. So, um, it'll be different from last season. Um, I think, yeah, we've done the double last year. So, listen, we'll be looking to do the same um, and get off to a very good start. It's the first time we've been at home in a few years, or especially when I've been at Colchester. So, be desperate to get off to a good start in front of your home fans. And then, um, yeah, like I say, get off to a good start. So, obviously, that's key to obviously a successful season.